It's a real interesting, hands-on, fun thing to do. I find that challenging and interesting kind of work. I have a letterpress print shop here in Eugene. I've been in printing all my life. I'm a third generation printer. All my presses are hand fed. Everything done in the shop is pretty much done by hand. I've started my business in 2007, but I started letterpress printing probably in 2002 when I was a student at the U of L. The process of making the print starts with your design, and then when you're ready to print, you have to cut your paper to size. You get your ink color once it's mixed on the press. And then you make a test print, and from the test print you can determine whether or not you need to add or, you know, subtract packing. And once you figure all that stuff out, you can actually print your run. I enjoy it because it kind of lets me marry two things that I love. I mean, I still get to do a lot of drawing and design work on the computer, but I also get to come out here and do, you know, printing manually by hand. I like the tactile feel of working with actual pieces instead of sitting on a computer and typing and seeing things on a screen. Um, I like to be able to pick up a letter and say, okay, this is going to work or it's not going to work. I think the big revival in letterpress has come about because of the capability or the ability now to go from the computer to letterpress. The draw of the modern letterpress is deep impression. Punching that type into the paper and making it really look cool, you know, to have a real deep impression in the paper. Well, the look of letterpress is really unique. It allows you to print on, you know, different substrates and different materials that you simply can't run through a digital printer. Starting in the late 1980s, a bunch of artists kind of got a hold of these machines and thought they were really cool and realized that you could, you know, do some different techniques and achieve different results and started using them to print artwork. And there's also a, a large group of people who aren't doing this for profit, but who are doing it, you know, because they just love the history and the craftsmanship of working with the machines. I see myself printing until I die. I will probably retire from the commercial end of it, but I, I don't see myself ever not printing. It's in my blood. <laughs>